Blake, this looks fantastic. This is after you'd hit a lot of balls outside where you're feeling some more hinge on the back swing and then as a result now on the down swing as well. There's that man that looks smooth, buddy. Look at that. Look how smooth that looks. And that's how it was looking outside when you're hitting those balls off the turf. Man, that looks good. And again, that's what we're after is to see that club head going down through the ball. Like we're seeing with the tour players here. Club head's on a downward arc when it hits the ball, and there's about where it bottoms out a few inches in front of the ball. And that's what we're seeing for you two over here, but after you hit a lot of balls outside, see it's more of a feel thing, and the way to monitor it is more outside, more so than on the video. But even here you see how the blue curved curve here is high there and low there. That's what you're after. And then there's that beautiful release with your hands, buddy. Looking like the tour players there, man. And you see how smooth it looks. Right there. So that looks fantastic. And again, at live speed, you see how smooth it looks. And again, that's what it was looking like, man, to me and your dad when you were uh, hitting those balls up there off the grass. And again, you can see this downward kind of a strike right there. That Those orange dots there, you see how the club head is low right there after impact on that orange dot. Uh, you see here how this player is hitting the ball first. Right there, and you see the ball's coming up before the divot. Right there. And then the divot comes out. Show you another one here. Show you another one here where you can see this contact with the pitch and the backspin. Again, you see how the club head's going down, creating that backspin, the black stripes on the ball. And again, the blow is downward right there through the ball. And see how the club head's lower over there on the right side of our screen, where it's higher over here on our left side of the screen before impact. So, man, that looks fantastic. That felt a lot better for you. And again, got to be careful not to overcorrect there, Blake. But get a feeling of those wrists. Just be careful with that a lot the next week or two. Not too much wrist, not too little wrist, but overall speaking, you needed more risk than you had in the past. Thanks so much, Blake. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around metal length. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have a face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment and we can get your swing from down to the 120th of a, one one hundred twentieth of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from cuttersedge.com so when you hit your full shot it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in the golf room that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here and then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Help!
Nellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. No wonder you've been gone, Nellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied that things are looking better on the video here, and we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air, and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated, so we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said, and it enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.